Hey guys, what is up? Today we are going over some Google My Map hacks. Now, if you've been a part of any masterminds or anything like that, My Maps is going to be a part of your GMB strategy somewhere along the line, but not the way I'm about to show you. We're going to go over some very high level stuff here. If you haven't watched parts one, two, and three, go back. They're going to be in this playlist. Watch them after this video. It'll make a whole lot more sense. All right? But watch this video first. Trust me. You're going to want to watch this video first. All right? Just watch this video. All right, so, and as always, there's no fluff in here. We get right into the meat and potatoes. There's no outro videos, intro videos, and there's definitely going to be no vague answers to the questions here like some of the other channels i'm not going to mention any names <clears throat> no patel <clears throat> now let's jump into it all right guys first thing i want to go over just a tiny tiny bit for like 20 seconds schema markup all right if you guys don't know what schema markup is don't worry about it it always intimidates people for some reason i don't know all it means is it helps the crawlers, the bots that scrape through the web pages identify information. That's all. So let's say you have your name, address, phone number on your website. Okay. That bot or crawler, it could be, um, it looks like a name, address, and phone number, but I'm not quite sure. But when you have schema markup in place, it tells it right away. Boom. That's an address. That's the phone number. Yada, yada, yada. And Google is actually rewarding people that have the schema markup. So if you don't have it, Get it, all right? And this is what I'm talking about in parts one and two, maybe three, I'm not sure, about having your same as schema, incorporating that URL into your same as schema. And I want to go over that real quick with you right now. This is JSON LD, so don't freak out. If your schema that is on your website does not look exactly like this, I'll go over a little bit of the other. It'll be the same thing, it'll just have different symbols, it'll have more symbols on it, more symbols and stuff. That's it. But it'll be in the same order, format type ish, kind of. We have our context. We're using schema.org, our type. We are an organization. The name of that organization is Marketing Divine. The URL is marketingdivine.com. Our logo, this is the link to our logo, our same as. Okay. This is what I'm talking about where we want to put URLs to our video citations that we made on YouTube. This gives it a very powerful boost. Now, guys, like I said, I was using JSON. And if your schema doesn't look exactly like this, it will look something like this right here. Or say link, item prop, same as. It wants a link. Whatever website that you want to put in there, plug it in. Also, you can also plug in your geo coordinates, your latitude and longitude. That holds an absolute ton of weight that's associated to your GMB. Another awesome thing that you can do is your Google Plus um, account. And if you come over to your GMB and you click that share button and get that link, that G page link, and drop this in as your same as schema. Also, that is the link that we traced. Get the final URL and plug it in. Now, let's head to the maps. If you do not have Google Earth Pro downloaded, go ahead and download it because we need to download a file that we're going to upload into our My Maps. So we're going to go ahead and open this and pretend that we downloaded it. Now, the first thing we want to do is we are going to want to do a search for our business associated with the GMB and address included uh, right here. Okay, Marketing Divine and we're going to search. All right, so here it is, we got it. Got a little snippet here. You should see that along with a pin um, attached to the building that your business operates out of. Now, super simple. All we're gonna do here is we are going to right click, all right, and save to my places. All right, guys, I went ahead and maximized this so we can see this a little bit better. So we are running down to my places here. You can see your company name should be right here. Right click, and we're going to click our properties. Now, you see all this uh, key markup language uh, right here. Okay, this is what you want to see. Here's a little hack. We're going to run and grab our schema and we are going to put right here in between the script and the body. I'm going to show you that now. All right, I'm over here with the uh, the schema again, and all I did is highlight, and I'm going to copy and paste. All right, we are back here in Google Earth Pro, the one that you downloaded, and we are going to drop our schema right in here between the script and the body. We're going to hit OK. See, guys, that was simple. It was painless. 
Simple, easy. Let's move on. Now we need to download the file that we just created with our schema markup. We're going to head over here. We're going to right click and we're going to save place as save it. All right, very simple guys. Now let's hop over to my maps and import it. All right, we just all we did was click upload from our computer and we are going to drop it in. Uploading. There we go. Now it should take you to your GMB. Boom. There we go. Now, since I don't have a physical address, I'm going to drop a pin in there and pretend that is my physical address for all you local business owners. And full disclaimer, I have two boys, um, aged 11 and 13. It sounds that they are having a very fierce Fortnite battle in the next room. So if you hear any children screaming and yelling, they're just entertaining themselves on the Fortnite. Back to it. Okay, so you can see we have a pin associated with our physical address attached to our GMB. We're going to click on it. First thing we're going to want to do is add media this pin. So come over here and do a Google image search. And the reason we want to do that is because we want to attach media to this that has been indexed by Google. All right. And if you've done what I told you to do in part three, you should have an absolute ton of media that's not only indexed but geotagged builds high 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 relevancy and in local SEO relevancy is king. All right so I'm gonna do a real quick uh, Google search for the company name and see what images that we have indexed. Here we go we got my beautiful face right here. Okay now we're gonna go over here click save we're gonna add some more media and then this we're gonna do a YouTube search and we are going to search up the man himself the myth the legend and we're going to grab, these would be your video citations. I'm just going to upload a video here just to show you as an example. But these would be the videos you made in part one and part two. We're just going to use this one. Why not? Save. We're on to the next step. Don't just upload the videos that you made for the video citations. Upload all the videos that you have on your YouTube channel. They have a little bit of string of code on there that you want attached to this map. Now, once you've uploaded as much media as you can to that little tiny pin of yours, we're going to come up here and we're going to do a search for whatever industry or niche you are. So if you're a plumber, you're going to type in plumbers. If you're a, um asphalt uh, concrete guy, type in that. All right, we're, we are going to go into marketing and advertising for this example. We are going to get a list of your competitors, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to add all of these pins to the map. All right, so I got them all added to our map. You see now they're little blue pins. Now there's a couple different things that you we can do with these. I do half and half. So first thing we're going to want to do is we can take driving directions from the competitor listing to our actual building, okay, our physical location associated with our GMB. Okay, very easy to do. All we're going to do is come over here, add directions. All right, little pop-ups right here, and we're going to go from here, okay, and then our next is going to be the Divine at 500 South Capitol Avenue, and boom, there we go, all right. Now, we can do this for a, another listing. I'm going to zoom out. Let's go grab this one up here in Fishers. We're going to set driving directions, and there we go. All right, let's do one more. We'll set our driving directions. Okay, and I'm going to paste in marketing divine with the address for the other half. All right, so I zoomed out here real quick. The other half, we're going to hijack these listings here. So if you come over here and you tap on a pin, it will pop up. And we can click over here where it says remove. You can remove this. All right, and we can add in our information, which we will trying to do this with one hand all right and save all right now we can also add our media in here also so image pictures our video citations right just for the demonstration I'm going to go ahead and we're going to add another one here we're going to scroll down let's grab this one right here and we're going to remove instead of Using your company name, type in like keywords that you want. So best marketing agency. Save, add, add your media. All right, let's grab this one here. We're going to remove. 
and we'll put local business marketing or Facebook ads, Google ads, you know, you guys are counting, you're getting the drift, all right? Now, when we're done, hijacking our listings, sending driving directions to the other listings, I've seen people do the whole map to where it's just driving directions, I've seen people where they hijack all of uh, the listings, all right, test, do what works best for you, all right, and I'm going to show you one more hack, that we're going to target all this linking wonderful power into locations we are going to jigo target so if you're having a little bit of trouble getting those ranking boosts in uh, certain neighborhoods suburbs this should get you over the edge done properly so a lot of guys or gals would like to do this manually i'm going to show you a way to do this easy and way more powerful here we go we're going to hop over here into google maps and we're going to identify some of these neighborhoods and in suburbs and whatnot so we're ranking right here in Indianapolis, and we have got uh, University Heights, Speedway, Claremont, Spring Hill, Winter Park, okay? And we want to associate our business with these locations. All right, so for this example, we're going to target Speedway right here, home of the Indianapolis 500, and I'm going to show you how to All right, so we're back here in Google Earth Pro, and we are going to plug in Speedway right here and click Search. All right, now our Speedway has popped up. We're going to come over here down here where this little clipboard is and we are going to click the little the copy all right next thing I'm gonna do over here is I'm just gonna open up my notepad you can, I'm gonna paste all this code in here that I copied from Google Earth Pro and what we're gonna do is we're going to want to save it now it's very important it's going to want to since we're using notepad it's going to want to save it as a tech txt file so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to name it Speedway dot, and this is where it's very important, key markup language, K-L-M, and save. Okay, if you don't, it'll save it as a different format. You do not want the text file format. You want the, the key markup language. So next what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to import, import this into our map, which is right here and we are going to select a file from here and what did we name that we named it speedway right right here speedway all right you see this little box right here that means we have done this correctly with a pin now let's go scroll down here and see what we did we've got a little pin here as you can see what I would suggest that you do and that I do is you're going to add your media in here just like you did with all the other pins you're going to add the media associated with your GMB there we go we're going to add our media speedway right here and save it now, what's so powerful about doing it this way with the key markup language instead of just manually just typing in speedway in the search bar here and and just doing it manually main reason we have everything that's associated with this city so it's more local relevance that you are targeting and associating with your business which in turn gives it more power are you seeing what I'm saying here I hope you're getting excited I would do this for all of the surrounding locations around the local business okay this is going to give you much more relevance and much more juice and what's so powerful is that this is Google's information Google loves its own information Google is a narcissist alright so this is how you layer a map correctly and for maximum performance finally guys we are done let's pretend that all this is completed and we are finished okay what we're gonna want to do is we're going to click share okay we can add a map title so we'll put uh, YouTube GMB why not and we'll just put awesome because this has been an awesome tutorial it's kind of a little bit emotional draining here we go as you can see uh, this is our link right here what we're gonna do is we're gonna want to change this to public and save it all right now we can save this uh, share this on your social sites but what you're really going to want to do most importantly is add this to your same as schema and then get this indexed 
All right. If you have trouble, use a indexing software. Um, I'm not going to recommend any. If you're on your own there, look it up. I'm sure a Google search will get you what you need. And guys, that's it. That's all I got for you. I'm out. I'm done. Best of luck to you. Peace.